Alright guys, it is me, him back once again with another Destiny video, and today we are in the tower. Go try and find Zora, and I'm gonna give my own little, like, Zora location and content review. But anyway, I haven't been able to post very much over the last week. I've been extremely busy, but, uh, now, today, I'm gonna post this video, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna try and find Zora, and we're just gonna see what he has, and I'm gonna tell you what to buy, because you will listen to me. But anyway, he's sitting in the corner of the tower hangar. I want to see how he has, starting from the bottom, a mode of light. He has an emerald coil and stealth drive for your blue sparrows, should you have any. Some heavy ammo synths, some three of coins on glass needles. The iconoclast, which makes the infective all gold and stuff. The prototype, which makes the truth all shiny and stuff. And in terms of engrams and armor, he has a legacy helmet engram, the immolation fists, Christ of Alpha Lupi. Void Fang Vestments and the Patience and Time. But now, getting into it, we do have the Immolation Fists for Titan. Now, these are 350 defense with 6481 strength roll. This is about an 85% roll, so definitely probably don't get these. Um, these are pretty good, in all fairness. You probably could use Glass Needles and re-roll them. Uh, but these ones grant Explosive Pyre, increase melee attack speed, and increase reload speed with Hand Cannons. Which is actually really good. I actually really like those perks because I absolutely love hand cannons and giving that melee perk really does help if you're using the Ice Luna, Thorn or Hawk Moon. Next we have the Crest of Alpha Loopy for Hunter. Definitely one of my favorite Hunter exotics ever. The uh, perk on this is reviving your fallen teammates creates an extra an extra orb and revive and be revived faster. They're basically the uh, weird uh, warlock, warlock helmet with the feathers and shit on it. But um, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. But this one is an awesome roll. This one is 113 out of 138. Uh, these are absolutely beast, and it does reduce incoming void burn damage and increase the amount of scout rifle ammunition you can carry. The void burn one is very handy if you're coming up against um, if you're coming up against uh, nice soccer hunters in Trials of Osiris. Now, we, next we do have the Void Fang Vestments for Warlock. These are okay, these used to be super OP um, in Trials when Axion Bolts were actually good, but these ones are actually a very good roll as well. Granted, there's Discipline and Strength, which is not something that I particularly like, but um, they do have very, very nice perks on this. Again, this is, it decreases the incoming Void Burn damage and increased Hand Cannon Ammo. Now, the weapon. One of my favorite weapons ever. This is the Patience and Time. This one is obviously dropping at 350, but the perks on this were always something I absolutely loved. Putting on the Patience and Time perk, which is the camouflage when aiming down sights, um, lower zoom, wider view, and third eye. Made it absolutely beast. Combined with CQB, gave it amazing stability and target acquisition. Definitely one of my favorite guns ever, and arguably, for me, the coolest looking gun in the game. Granted, this one does have a bit of, bit of a visual update, but the old one was unbelievable. It looked absolutely insane, and it was definitely one of my favorite looking and favorite guns ever of year one. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, including my Call of Duty, GTA, Destiny, and any other videos I should put up. Sorry for the lack of uploads over the last, last while, and just in general over a long time because you know I've been busy and I've been lazy um, but yeah hopefully I'll be getting back to more uploads soon and yeah as always guys I have been Hitman I will see you in the next video guys Hitman out